Can you really repair a hole in drywall with a sheet of paper and latex paint? How about a crack or a hole with packing tape? I recently did a video uh, as a reaction video about another video on Facebook and he was showing all these techniques. Well, we're gonna test them out today and see if anything at all works. All right, hopefully you watched my previous video. It was only one or two videos back, so if you haven't seen it, go watch that one. I did a review, a reaction video, reaction to another video that came off of Facebook. And in this video, they showed some of the dumbest techniques I've ever seen for repairing drywall. But some of you said, hey, why don't you try it out and let's see what happens. Well, I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen and we'll see if it's as bad as I think. So we're only going to test a few scenarios. I already happen to have this little hole in my drywall. This is my easel here, my test rig that I use to shoot a lot of the videos. This is actually a piece of drywall I have on here and just happen to have a hole in here from another video. And I'm going to try and patch that one with some packing tape because I think he did that and just latex paint. That's all this person used, except in one part they used the mesh, stick on mesh with the metal. We're not gonna test that because I'm gonna do that in a separate video because that one does have some legitimacy to it. But the rest of them they did with latex paint and a sheet of paper and some packing tape. So we're gonna try it out here. We're gonna let it dry overnight. I'll come back on part two, which will, you'll see it all as one, and we'll see how it came out. But right after I do it, I'm gonna show you how it looks up close so we can see how it looks wet. Now, what I said will probably happen on the video is they had a pretty good size hole they repaired with just a sheet of paper and latex paint. And my comment was as soon as he finished rolling over it, they cut away that quick. Well, that's because you could already see wrinkles forming. Paper's just going to fall apart. It should wrinkle up badly. And on top of that, you'll see the entire shape of the paper when it's done. Latex paint doesn't hide very much, folks. If you're trying to hide cracks, scratches, nail holes, anything, it may appear to cover it. You can paint over a nail hole. It'll disappear. An hour later it's back because paint is 40 percent water it's going to shrink so you're going to have some loss there and it's going to shrink back and then it's going to telegraph all those defects back through and in this case the paper and the masking or the packing tape but hey maybe i'll eat my words i'll make you eat those now i'm going to prep all or two of these at once so i can just paint one time they did each one separately but that's not important so first I'm going to tape over this hole with some packing tape. Okay, that's prepped and ready. Now we had a hole to repair, so let's make a hole. Something like that. I can't remember the exact size, but it was pretty good size. We're going to do that one with a sheet of paper. They also fixed a crack with the packing tape. I don't have a crack. I don't think it really matters that it's a crack, but let's go ahead and uh, we're just gonna pretend because it's not whether or not it can make the crack or span the crack and stay. It's whether, for one, whether paint's even gonna stick to the packing tape worth of crap or it, whether or not it's going to telegraph back through when it's done. Hey, you know, one of the secrets to doing quality work when you're, you're doing your own drywall is quality tools. Now, that's why I actually reached out to Level 5 last year and asked them for support of our channel, and they gladly agreed. They saw the kind of content that I'm putting out, and they realized it fits in with the quality of their tools. 
So I want to let you guys know that I am an affiliate for Level 5. They're not paying me to say anything here. But if you decide to purchase anything, I do make about 5% on it. But get this, I'm going to be able to give you 10% off as an affiliate. You can't get that on Amazon. Now they have some really cool tools. They got everything from your basic hand tools. You can see mine have definitely been used. They're a little bit dirty right now, but not bad. These are stainless. They're not going to rust. They got all kinds of skim coating blades, including this. I believe it's a 30 inch model all the way up through a full set of taping tools. So if you guys need any of this, I recommend them. I'll put a link down below to my website. That's where all my links are these days. Go to that kiltedguy.com and you'll find the links to all this stuff and the discount code. Now I predict, predict that the paint's going to stick to this packing tape about like the truth sticks to politicians. But we'll see. So here's my crack. Let's just say we're going to fix that. So we need to get out our handy packing tape. Repair it all packing tape. And we'll go there. And... do the rest now, who knows maybe there's a new way to do drywall we're about to find out let's break out the uh, paint now, I've got some old crappy paint here uh, this paints lumpy and everything else so we may get a little bumps uh, some bumps in it but that's kind of irrelevant to the test here it'll work for this test it's good for stuff like this Okay, paint over the packing tape. Now they put it on a little extra heavy. I don't know if I can get it on there much heavier and get my paint roller to roll, but we'll try a little bit more here. There, it's pretty well covered. Now, if I remember right, they had a white wall and white paint. That would make this blend in better. We don't have that. It's going to telegraph through. This side should do better. Let's do the packing tape. Let's get more paint. We need more paint. That's going to be the, the solution. Remember, if you're going to do this, use lots of quality paint. <laughs> I can't hardly say that with a serious face, folks. Okay, on video, that probably looks pretty good. The crack kind of went away. Let's fix this one. I did use the heavy gauge paper. I didn't, this isn't the cheap stuff. Make sure you use the right heavy gauge paper here. Stick that on there. Oh my gosh, I think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me serious here. Mm, okay. Wow. Pretty amazing. That That's on there pretty heavy now. I can't put it on there much heavier. So, of course, that one, the gray showing through, it's not going to look very good. What do you think? I'm going to give you a close-up view now. Okay, let's come in and take a closer look at it. Now, I just re-rolled this a little. I noticed my roller was sliding again. Um got it to roll a little better so we got some stipple that stipple is going to help hide things you notice we have the light straight behind the camera it'll help hide major defects or not major but some of the minor ones lighting really plays a lot in it okay now I have moved the light straight over here to the side you can see we're side lighting and because it's all fresh it still doesn't look too bad. Let's zoom in on the packing tape. It's just laying there. There's no gap behind it. So it's hiding pretty good. But of course the paper. Eh, I guess that's not too bad for a, for, um, a blind person maybe. <laughs> All right. That one of course is terrible. Now when we side light this one. I did get a little wrinkle in my tape. But. If you look around that, you can see it's kind of bubbling a little bit. It's not holding much shape. You can also see the outline of the packing tape. 
clearly so all right we're gonna let it dry i'll be back in a minute all right it's day two everything is dried and this came out just perfect like i said i mean this is an amazing method here folks i told you this would work look at this everything came out great it's smooth it's flat it's tough look how tough that is you can beat on this all day and that repair is going to hold paper once you embed it with paint latex paint it strengthens it there's a chemical process involved but i'm not going to go into that because it's not important what's important is that it worked it's smooth it's flat you don't need to go to all the re trouble of cutting the drywall out mesh taping it wider mesh tape you don't need paper tape you don't even need this stupid fiber fuse stuff you guys are being misled by these drywallers on pretend drywallers on youtube trying to tell you that you got to cut the drywall out put backing in patch it mud it all that i'm telling you this was a specially treated sheet of paper though i got to tell you folks otherwise it wouldn't work but notice the crack is gone needs one more coat of paint but we did only do one coat this is like i said tough as heck as a matter of fact i'm putting together a repair kit just for you guys we're going to call this the kilted guy speedy repair kit it eliminates all that other stuff order now and we're going to include all kinds of special items i'm going to put a link in the description or you can call 1-800-BR-549 we're going to include the specially treated paper this paper once it's activated by the paint is much stronger it's not your ordinary paper you get that but you also get one roll of packing tape gun not included and we're going to throw in our specially designed paint roller this thing is custom made just for us we even break them in that's why it's got a little bit of paint on it and we're going to include this can this paint can you take this down to the paint store you have them fill it up there's a powder in here it's going to activate that paint and make it into the bulletproof formula you see right here because like i said folks this is tough stuff you can't whoop you can't hurt it it's holding up really well so get your order in right now there's a limited supply of these we can only get out so many of these are going like hotcakes already i see our order takers over here we got them lined up the phones are ringing off the hook get your order in now get your own bulletproof repair today today and you'll be happy okay actually this does look really good at this angle i got my lights especially straightforward and even if we zoom in a little bit it looks pretty good so let's zoom in let you see how it looks before i go into my fake sales routine okay i know i'm off camera but you can see that at this angle it looks pretty good now my cameras i don't want to readjust it so you can see though the papers right here with this lighting it looks pretty good but now let me show you the side lighting so you can see what it really looks like all right you can see with the side lighting it's actually you can see all the defects the paper wrinkles actually went away i was kind of surprised on that there's a little bit there but you can still see the edges of the paper you can see the edges of the tape and yeah you might fool your landlord with this and get your deposit back but really is this really the right thing to do if you damaged it you really should fix it the right way because as you saw in the video it's actually really weak um, the first time somebody bumps that they're going to go right through it now let's check out this one with the packing tape now if you can see right here i'm not going to zoom in too much i can tell you it's very weak also sure it sort of looks okay but it's just the wrong way to do things folks now that was all a, a joke of course don't be calling br549 or junior samples is going to be kind of upset if you know what i mean comment down below <laughs> but oh and did the tape uh the paint stick to the tape well here's me scratching the drywall and i'm trying to scratch the tape real similar but you can see it doesn't have much adhesion the bottom line is okay it did work a little bit better than i thought and it's actually the repair is actually right here let's see yeah 
and it's actually tougher than I thought, but it's really easy to knock a hole through and those edges just show. So unless you really are doing, you're willing to do some really crappy work, I would not use this method. But I was kind of impressed with how that came out. But would I ever, ever do that? Not, not a chance ever. I'd rather use one of those metal patches first. Hey, make sure you don't miss any of our videos by clicking the bell icon, but you have to click the all part. If you just click the personalize, YouTube will decide what you see. So hey, I hope you found this amusing, got some entertainment out of it, and that I educated you. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Be sure and check out the links down below, my website, also at thatkiltedguy.com, my online store, thatkiltedguystore.com, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, if you really want to take your drywall mudding skills to the next level, check out my new ebook. I put this one out about showing you guys uh, how to correct a lot of the mistakes you're making. Some of these tips and tricks are going to help you advance your skills quickly. I guarantee it. If you don't like this book, write me. I'll give you your money back. I've got a lot of pointers in there. You can read a whole lot more on my website at thatkiltedguy.com. But just click the link down below if you want to go to the website and pick this up. It's not very much money and it will help you out a lot. Believe me. And where'd I put the paint roller? There we go. You're going to get the most bulletproof repair you've ever had. Look at that. It can take a beating. Wow, it really can. <laughs> okay, I gotta hit that. Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.